In the previous video, we saw how increasing VDS, the voltage from the drain to the source, caused a tapering of the channel. We refer to that region as the triode region, and in that region, the current through the transistor, or I sub D, was given by this expression. We're now going to, in this video, look at what happens as we continue to increase VDS up to the point where VDS is equal to the overdrive voltage. In the triode region, the increasing VDS caused a taper, which we've already mentioned, but the, the voltage at the drain reduced, or the amount of the drain voltage exceeded the overdrive voltage reduced as VDS increased. So if you can imagine VDS continuing to increase up to the point where the um, VDS equals the overdrive voltage, the channel effectively becomes pinched off. Now, pinch off is an interesting word. It doesn't pinch it off in that it stops the current from flowing as though the channel were kinked. It simply means that the enhanced channel filled with electrons comes to a taper at this point. Current continues to flow because you have a significant voltage drop between the drain and the source. And so the electrons are swept across this depletion area on through the channel to the source, or <laughs> the electrons actually are swept from the source on through across the depletion pinched off area here into the drain. Of course, we think of the traditional current going the opposite direction. But let's look at what happens to the current when VDS equals VOV. So, taking this equation right here and replacing VDS with VOV, we get then that I sub D is equal to K sub N prime W over L times VOV minus one half. Now, VDS, we're saying, is now equal to VOV. VOV times VOV. Well, VOV minus one half VOV is just one half VOV times VOV gives us then, if we pull the one half out in front, K sub N prime W over L VOV quantity squared. This expression then becomes the, the equation that describes the current through the transistor at the point where VDS equals VOV, or in fact it exceeds VOV. We call that region the saturation region. And to a first order effect, the current through the transistor is independent of VDS. We're going to see in the next few videos that that isn't quite exactly true, that there is something known as the early effect, where we'll look at what's known as, as channel length modulation. But at least for right now, we're going to, we're going to uh, treat the current through the transistor in the saturation region as being a constant value independent of VDS. We then have this expression here replacing VOV with VGS minus VT, describing the current in the saturation region. And we have this expression right here for the current in the triode region.